Hi everyone, in this video, I was going to solve this algebraic equation. The equation we have x over 2 whole to the power of 6 is equals to 3 to the power of 6. Hey, we need to find out the value of x. So let's get start the solution. In the first step, I will going to apply here the exponential rule that is a over v whole to the power of n can be written as a to the power of n over b to the power of n. So this equation turns to x to the power of 6 over 2 to the power of 6 is equals to 3 to the power of 6. Now this 2 to the power of 6 is dividing so it will going to be multiplied with the side. 2 to the power of 6 times x to the power of 6 over 2 to the power of 6 is equals to 3 to the power of 6 times 2 to the power of 6. So here this and this get cancelled. So the next expression we will get that is x to the power of 6 is equals to 3 to the power of 6 times 2 raised to power 6. Now next I will think to apply here another exponential rule that is a to the power of m times b to the power of m can be written as a times b and whole to the power of m. So here we have the common power. So we can write in this form x to the power of 6 is equal to 3 times 2 and whole to the power of 6. Here this will be equal to x to the power of 6 is equal to 6 to the power of 6. Next, I will going to take this 6 to the power of 6 to the left hand side. x to the power of 6 minus 6 to the power of 6 is equal to 0. Next, I will going to express this x to the power of 6 minus 6 to the power of 6 in this form. x to the power of 3 and whole to the power of 2 minus 6 to the power of 3 and whole to the power of 2 is equals to zero. Now here I will going to apply the algebraic identity that is a square minus b square can be written as a minus b a plus b. So this is our a and b value. This equation turns to x cube minus 6 cube x cube plus 6 cube is equals to 0. Now here we get the two cases x cube minus 6 cube. This is our first case. The second one we have x cube plus 6 cube is equals to 0. Now I will going to solve it out case 1 is x cube minus 6 cube is equals to zero. Now we're going to apply here the algebraic identity that is a cube minus b cube can be written as a minus b a square plus a b plus b square. So this is our a and b value x minus six x square plus six x plus 6 to the power of 2 is equals to 0. Here we will get the two cases. x minus 6 is equals to 0. And this I will going to take to the right hand side. x is equals to 6. So here we get the first x value that is 6. Now I will going to take this other case. x square plus 6x plus 6 to the power of 2 is equals to 0. For x square plus 6x plus 6 to the power of 2 is equals to 36 is equals to 0. Here we get the quadratic equation and the coefficient for a, b, c is we have that is a, b we have positive 6 and c we have positive 36. I will going to solve it out that by using the quadratic formula. For finding out the value of x minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac over 
to a x is equals to the b value we had that is positive 6 plus minus root 6 to the power of 2 minus 4 1 and c we have 36 over 2 and the value of a we have that is 1 x is equals to negative 6 plus minus and 6 to the power of 2 is equals to 36 and 4 36 times give us 144 over 2 x is equals to minus 6 plus minus and here we get the negative 108 over 2 now i will going to separate this negative sign so I will going to express x is equals to minus 6 plus minus root 108 times negative 1 over 2. So I will going to apply here the radical rule that is n root of a times b can be written as n root of a times n root of b. So this will turn to x is equals to minus 6 plus minus root 108 times root negative 1 over 2. And next, I will going to split this 108. x is equals to minus 6 plus minus root 36 times 3 times root negative 1 over 2 and x is equals to minus 6 plus minus and the root of 36 we have that is 6 root of 3 times and root negative 1 is equals to the iota the imaginary number over 2. Next up here I will going to take the common of 2. So 2 and here negative 3 plus minus 3 root of 3 iota over 2. This and this get cancelled. x is equals to negative 3 plus minus 3 root of 3 iota. So here we get the two complex roots. Now we're going to solve it out case 2. The case 2 we have that is x cube plus 6 cube is equals to 0. Next, I'm going to apply here the algebraic identity that is a cube plus b cube can be written as a plus b and a square minus ab plus b square. So here this is our a and b value. This equation turns to x plus 6 x square minus 6x plus 6 to the power of 2 is equals to 0 and here x plus 6 is equals to 0 this i was going to take to the right hand side x is equals to negative 6. so here we get x square minus 6x plus 6 square is equals to 0 x square minus 6x plus 36 is equals to 0. Now here we get the quadratic equation again and here we have the coefficient a and this is our b value and c value. Now I will going to plug in the abc's value in the quadratic formula to find out the value of x. x is equals to minus and the b value we have that is negative 6 plus minus and 6 square minus 4, 1, and C we have that is 36 over 2 and 1. Now here this will be equals to positive 6 plus minus and 6 to the power of 2 is equals to 36 minus and 4, 36 times give us 144 over 2. And here x is equals to 6 plus minus and this will be equals to negative 108 over 
2. Now, in the next step, I was going to separate this negative sign from this 108. So this will turn to x is equals to 6 plus minus root 108 times minus 1 over 2. In the next step, I was going to apply here the radical rule. So it will turn to x is equals to 6 plus minus root 108 times root negative 1 over 2. And here x is equals to 6 plus minus, now we're going to split this, root 36 times 3 times root negative 1 over 2. And this I will be going to simplify it further. So it will turn to 6 root of 3 and negative root of 1 is equals to iota, the major number, over 2. And here x is equals to, here I will going to take common of 2, where we will get 3 plus minus 3 root of 3 iota over to this and this get cancelled so we will get x is equals to 3 plus minus 3 root of 3 iota so here we get two more complex root for this case too also so this is the final answer thank you so very much for watching my video if you like my video please do subscribe to my channel